Today, we're going to go over a non-contact ACL injury. Now, to begin with, let's go over some quick anatomy about ACL. So ACL, which I'm going to use this uh, tape to show what it is, is basically a ligament that goes from the back side of the knee and attached to the front, so diagonally to the front of the knee. It prevents the lower bone, we call lower shin bone, we call the tibia, from shifting forward. So a lot of non-contact injury happen to the ACL happens too when your lower leg got planted and your upper leg twist. So you can tell basically that ligament will actually got overstretched. And we're going to talk about what kind of exercise you can do to prevent this excessive quote-unquote tugging so that you don't injure that ACL. Before we begin the exercise, I would like to show you the self-test. As I always mentioned to you, let's do a self-test to see where you're at so you know whether you actually need this exercise or not. So this test is called the jump off test and you want to jump off a little uh, you know, elevated platform and simply just land on one leg. Now a positive or a bad sign here is you will see the knee cave in quite a bit and that's what we call the valgus sign. So meaning you're really twisting your knee quite a bit and putting a lot of pressure on that ACL. And the following video, we're going to show you how to address that. In this exercise, we want to train the foot and the glute muscle to resist that inward pressure. Now this simple setup can be done anywhere. So first you need a exercise band tied to something that doesn't move and you're going to wrap it around your knees now the pole is going to be from the outside to inside or you're trying to get the band to pull inward so this will allow you to train the hip to resist that now from here the weight distribution should be 70 percent in the front 30 percent at the back and in my other video i mentioned the short foot so in the same foot we want to make sure we put pressure on the tripod so big ball of your foot, small ball of your foot, and the heel. So make sure that is stable the whole time when you're doing this. So from here, stable foot, pull the knee away to activate that hip, and go straight down and up. Straight down and up. Now you can even do this by a step through. The key here is to really train the hip and the foot not collapsing inside, and then what's that's one of the many exercises we teach in the clinic to resist that valgus and spare your ACL that way. I hope you find this mini series useful as we continue to create more content for you to help you make an even more durable version of you. So if you like this video, I really appreciate if you can share it with your friends, family, or colleagues so they can get to know how to how their body works and how to protect themselves better. And please remember, subscribe to this channel or to our Instagram channel, and we'll see you next time.